Well, here we are outside Clear Barley in uh, Newcastle City Centre, just around the corner from uh, our glorious offices. And of course, Newcastle now five points clear again in the Championship, which is all looking a bit better than it was ten days ago or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see what you've done there with the, the link. Clever. Very good. Clever. Very good. Um, very good for Newcastle as well. They're looking very good at the moment, you know, six points clear of um, the third place, which yeah. is obviously where they want to be. And yeah. um, you know, I was I was roaring Bristol City on yesterday to, for them to get that result. And, uh, Absolutely, I mean that result was just as big as Newcastle winning on Saturday, and mm -hmm. it was pretty unexpected given that Bristol City have recently taken a bit of a hammering at home, so it was an unexpected bonus. And uh, it looked like Borough were going to hold on against Forest for a bit on Saturday, but obviously mm. uh, they got the win. We know Newcastle can't take things easy by any stretch of the imagination, but. They go to Watford now on Saturday with Watford star player suspended, so things are looking really good. Yeah, I've seen the send off of uh, Cleverly at yeah. Scunthorpe. Um, not very clever from his point of view at all, but great for us. Even if we can go down there and get a draw, that mm. wouldn't be the worst result in the world. Uh, I thought against Preston, Newcastle didn't really even step out of second gear, no. but still won very comfortably in the end, you know. And goal at the start, goal at the end, and one in the middle, so it was. Uh, pretty much a perfect day in terms of uh, the result. Yeah, they just did enough, which you know didn't have to be very, very much at all. Uh, from my seat in the stands, I'm thinking every time I watch these away sides in Newcastle, <laughs> that I'm not going to see a worse one this season. Yeah. And then another one comes along. I know Chris Hewton obviously can't say that about opposing teams, and you know he's polite and he acknowledges that there's, you know, there's always a physical challenge on the pitch. But in terms of the football, I think on Saturday I was reminded that Newcastle really should be, you know, at least. Six, five, six points clear ahead of the rest of this league by, by the end of the season, if not sooner. Oh, no, I know. I think the division really is, is one of the poorest sort of levels of football I've seen Newcastle United playing yeah. for many a year at the start of the season. Um, controversially, I wrote that it was a, a really crap league, to be yeah. honest, and uh, I got inundated with emails from other Championship fans saying, don't diss our league, and you yeah. know, you, you're wrong. You, you, but I have to say, I haven't seen any anything to the reverse of what I said to start with, and really Newcastle should, or you could almost make a case for them being out of sight now. I mean, yeah. yes, six points is a great lead, but they should really, really be out of sight. Some of the games they've drew, and you know, they lost to the likes of Scunthorpe and yeah. stuff like that. So that's why it's vital that they go to Watford on Saturday. Another team that are really looking, you know, up at more teams and then looking down on. And mm. without cleverly, you think Newcastle have finally got to break this bit of a hoodoo that they've got away from home, having not won since uh, when was it, November? Yep. So it's a, it's a hell of a run, isn't it? So. It is, yeah. Considering they're top of the league, but uh, you think the way the strikers are performing at the moment, they're spreading the goals around. Mm. There should be every chance. Oh, definitely. I mean, Andy Carroll didn't register on uh, on Saturday. I think he had a little. It was like a bit of a spat with Kevin Nolan during the game, and his head seemed to go a little bit after that. Yeah. Um, but fair play to the lad, he's got 10 at the moment. Kevin Nolan's obviously leading the way with 12, so there's a bit of competition sort of building up there now in terms of the uh, top scorer. That's what every decent team needs.